Hey YouTube, today is February 21st and I'm excited because I'm nervous. I'm going to show you my MAC pre-made palettes that I have. Three of them are no longer available. The other ones are the connecting colors. You see me do looks with them and I have some exciting news I'm going to share with you either in the middle of this video or at the end. But anyway, this is not the giveaway video, but it's, it's going to be some important information. So I'm going to show you... I have four of the 12 pans and five <laughs> of their six pans. I do recommend these, the ones that are still available, uh, because the quality MAC just works. Um, go through my MAC pre-made palette playlist and see the looks I've done. And some of these looks are not exact, but have the same vibe as higher priced palettes and brands you can find mac of course at the mac store you can find it at ulta and the thing i love about ulta is their reward system you can earn earn points and your the points convert to cash that you can put towards your purchase mac has a nice reward system too and that's how i got a lot of my single shadows for free because <laughs> using the points um and also a certain tier for MAC, you just get free shipping, free like two day shipping or whatever. But I usually just go pick up at the stores less than 10 minutes away. So I'm gonna show you the limited edition ones first because they're not available. And then we're gonna do, as you saw in the title, what if I can only keep three? And that's why I'm smiling because I'm anxious as hell. I do curse on my channel for New Year sometimes. And so I hope it's not offensive. I do try to catch myself. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So around October, these three came out for the Christmas season. Looks like little snowflakes and diamonds. And look at that. It's so shiny and pretty. And I'm trying not to blind you. This one is Snowbody's Business. And this palette surprised me because these look really light. The first looks I did, I did by Rose. This was a beautiful look. This came out smoky. This came out smoky. And I was surprised because it's just this black here, but Mac, th these just showed up and someone commented, um, I don't know if it was in a short or just a post or what, but they were like, oh, I'm going to get it. And then they messaged, well, not messaged, they commented the second time it sold out already. And I'm like, sorry. So this is no longer available, but it looks light and ethereal, like on this half of the palette, but it, it, it shows up, they show up true to pan, but maybe it's my complexion that they just looked a little bit darker than the pan. And of course, y'all know I love this one and these two rows, particularly this shade and these because they're darker. Y'all know I like dark. This shows up really lovely. I'm not going to talk much about it. This will not be in if I can only keep three because it's not available. And if I'm going to say this is what I want to keep, I would like it to be something that you guys can still get your hands on. So, and they, it, they did say they were limited edition. And now we have these two six pans. This is Squall. Both of these say Squall Goals. This one is Cabin Fever. And this is what it looks like. This is just a beautiful basic bitch palette. But it is just, it's, it's just so easy. There are mattes in here. There's some satins in here. It... This you can just pick up and just do a look and it's going to look nice regardless of your complexion. If you're deeper, the lighter tones like this and this, I think will just pop and be so just rich and beautiful. If you're lighter than me, these will be just a, an extra added shine sparkle. And I do think this is a universal palette. This, if you're lighter, it may not show up much. It may just be inner corner or a brow bone highlight, but if you're deeper, this, I believe, is a satin. This is going to pop. This would be great, I think, for a halo look or just do a, do a spotlight. Just put like a, just take um, like a flat brush and just put a line right down the middle for like a halo look. I think this would be beautiful. And so, but I really enjoy this palette. And as I said, for me, MAC just works. Did I really realize that? This shade right here, it looks like this in person. So when I put it down, I'm like, that looks green. But then up here, it looks more gold. So that's why I was like, wait a minute, what? I don't think it's a dual chrome. But the way the light just hits it. So you see it here, but then you see it here. This, this shade is beautiful. It is beautiful. It's beautiful. So we're going to put that away. And now we're going to talk about Sparkle Storm. And MAC is engraved on here. Like, 
embossed I think is really what it's supposed to be called this is sparkle storm you got all the sparkles look at this shade right here this this is a dual chrome. Maybe the other one is a dual chrome too, because I do know this one is too. So I'm going to call the other one a dual chrome. The one that was like kind of green and then gold. This one is for sure a dual chrome. This is beautiful. So look at this shade and then look at that. And then you have this deep, rich brown. You can use this to deepen up or just out a corner. This has a nice sheen to it. This one is bright, but it's not bright where it's like, okay, wait a minute. That's just too much. It, this is a beautiful palette. And I am going to use these more, maybe what I'll try to do is a beauty face-off or do one eye with, it. and not necessarily a face-off, well, I guess it would be, just to try to dupe it, because if you, dupes it because <laughs> I'm speaking drippers, to just see what I can dupe it with. So if you do like this color story, you can see something else that I have that may kind of be similar, but I really don't know. My mind goes to Letho, but Letho is so punchy. And some of those shades are just so bright and so bold that this isn't that. MAC isn't going to give you that pow boom in your face, but it's going to give you really nice, very easy to do, very beautiful looks that for me, I, I would wear anytime and anywhere. I don't do the daytime look, the nighttime look. I wear black lipstick during the daytime. Um, so I'm not that person that goes off of time of day or seasons i just wear what i want to like i would do this every day this entire look every day um but i have other shadows to do you know funky looks like this funky being a good thing and so you yeah, may I, I have to think about that because i'm looking at this and i i don't think i have of course i have a dark brown and one of these <sighs> this in in a lethal shadow would be pow and I don't know if I have this dual chrome. I don't know. But I'm, I'm going to look to see because I really enjoy this palette. I enjoy the color story. And I would like you to have something similar to it. So those, I'm not going to pick any of those. Um, the three I would keep. Which leaves me with these six to pick. <laughs> three that I would keep. I have all three of the 12 pin connecting color. I have three of the four six pin connecting color. The The fourth one was, I think it was called Rose Lens. And y'all, I don't want a rosy palette. <laughs> so I did not get that one. Very pretty though. I thought to get it for a giveaway, but then I'm like, I like to give stuff that I like, but hoping that you will like it and love it as much as I do. Um, so I didn't get it. Um, but yeah, hold, hold that thought. This one, the first two that I purchased was Hi-Fi Color. No, it's just called Hi-Fi. And this one is Future Flame. And I'm going to tell you why I purchased two of them. Because I felt like a half a clown. Because I just realized I didn't do my intro. I felt like a half-ass clown because I was looking at Future Flame. And I'm like, this is a pretty palette. This palette has um, Pat McGrath Mothership 11 Sunlit Seduction vibes. It's not the same, but the tones. And when I did the swatches, and I don't think I did one look one eye, one the other eye, because it's not the same. And of course, the, the textures are not the same, but the vibe, the colors. And I remember saying how I recommend this one over Sunlit Seduction, unless you want that boom pow of the celestial shades, because this is easier to use. <laughs> um, and you have more shades. This is 12 shades, and it's a lot cheaper. These full price are $54. Um, MAC sometimes has sales. And you can go through Rakuten to get to MAC. Ulta, of course, has sales. And sometimes... The cells do include prestige items, which MAC is considered a prestige item, or you can save up your points, purchase it that way. And sometimes MAC, not MAC, Ulta has point multiplier, where whatever category, you might get 10 times the points or five times the points. And also through Rakuten, you can get cash back from Ulta as well. These two like this are looking similar, but they're really not. This is more red in person. And this is more like pumpkin orange in person. 
So even though they look the same here, they really are not. But I really enjoy this palette. But I'm saying I felt like a half ass clown because first glance to me is monochromatic. It's going to be a red look. Let me tell you something, honey boo boo troll child. No, this is not a monochromatic palette. I did really check out the playlist. But I felt like a half ass clown, half, uh, half ass clown because... I'm like, I don't want red tones. I don't want monochromatics. This is what I wanted. Hi-fi. You see the difference, right? And then I'm like, I don't want to just get one. <laughs> so part of me, I did want hi-fi color because there's a lot of color. The only color in here, this is chrome yellow. It does not show up on me at all. It does not want to pick up on a brush. It does not want to apply on my lid. I don't know what it is with this shade. And y'all listen, don't take this the wrong way. Don't tell me yellows are hard to make. <laughs> I've heard that about every shadow. Purples are hard to make. Blues are hard to make. Reds are hard to make. Greens are hard. I've heard that about every single color that is hard to make. So please don't say yellows are hard to make. Because I literally have heard that about every color. Seriously, tools are hard to make. Like, seriously, greens. Uh, and I'm just like... And then somebody says something, I'm like, that's what it is. They said, it's not that a particular color is hard to make. It might just be hard to make it good. And I said, that's what it is. But this for me, this is the only MAC shadow I have that it just doesn't, it doesn't show up. Um, <clears throat> I wanted this one because it's colorful. And then I thought, but this is so pretty too. And then I thought, I'll just get them both. And I do believe Ulta was having a point multiplier. So I'm like, shit, I'm going to just go ahead and get them both then. And so it helped me feel better about Future Flame also getting hi-fi color because this does first glance look monochromatic and I don't really prefer monochromatic looks for me. So getting them both helped me justify having Future Flame. <laughs> but then when I got and used it, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Okay, and of course this palette. We had so much fun with this palette. Um, hey, Denise, if you're watching this, if you want to do a collab with this, let me know, because I know she has this. I don't know if she's used it a lot. So if you want to collab and do a look with Hi-Fi, let me know and we will do that. I enjoy this palette so much. I have a few looks with it. I have a few looks with this one. But seriously, if you're one, well, that was serious. If you are, like, lusting over... Pat McGrath's Sunless Seduction, Give Future Flame Connecting Color from MAC. I promise you, you will not be disappointed unless you just want that extra shine, the extra shimmer. But if you're okay with just, you know, a little bit of glow and, you know, some satin shades and palettes, a palette that's easy to use, not a lot of mess. I can do a look with this within like 10 minutes and it's, it's a beautiful look like it is just so easy to use and that encourages me to use it because i know it's not going to be a lot of mess i don't got to pull out the sponge tips i don't got to be extra careful fallout and all of that stuff but these two i bought these at the same time there was another one the third one that i have and i've said it before and i'll say it again I'm going to back up the packaging. What you see on the outside is exactly what you see on the inside. The packaging is beautiful and it's nice and sleek. Oh my gosh. This one, I've said it before I say it again. This is unfiltered nudes. What you see here for all of these are what you see on the inside. Look at this. This gives me wannabe subliminal vibes. Pat McGrath, Mothership number one. Not quite, I'm not saying it's dupes, but if you just want that vibe, and you're okay with not, you know, the high shine for the celestial shades. This also has mattes, has satins, very easy to work with. I did a look, I think I did two columns for one look and two columns for the second look. And I remember thinking this over here, excuse me, is going to be a very light ethereal look. Mm -mm. This look came out smoky. What am I looking at? This is deeper in person. And I'm, because I'm like, wait a minute. Stuff is looking different on your end than over here. This, you can do ethereal if you want to stick with just like these here, this one, and these two. The, my, the looks I did with this came out smoky. And I was surprised because of like these shades right here. Because I'm thinking if I do these two columns, it's going to be like a light ethereal type look. These two columns, it came out smoky. And I, I, I really don't understand why, except to say this showed up darker. Because it is darker in person. And these two are dark shades. This is like super, super dark in person. 
But I was very surprised and very glad that I had got this. And again, very easy to work with. And you can get a, there, there is a lot of variety in here. And I, I really like these palettes. On to the three six pan connecting color. I was only going to get one because online they look dusty. And I'm just like, <sighs> but when I saw them in the store, I think I ordered one online for pickup. And when I went to the store and I saw them, I'm like, and I was with one of my sisters, one of my chosen family sisters. She was like, oh, they're all pretty. And she's like, oh, look at the packaging. It looks like the inside. And they all look different. Because online, some of them look like they were dupes for the other ones. Some of them were looking kind of dusty. And I'm like, I don't want no dusty ass palette. This one I was not going to get. Check out the outside. This is Encrypted Kryptonite. Because online, I thought it was going to look like, online, it was reminiscent of unfiltered nudes. And I'm like, I already have unfiltered nudes. This is not unfiltered nudes. <laughs> this reminds me of black metal from one of the motherships, and I forget which one, but it's not. It's not. And I'm not, it's not dupes for the motherships. It just has that vibe. But this also, the looks I've done with it, it, it has mothership vibes. It does. It's just a way the shadow show up on me just without the celestial shade pop. You know what I'm saying? And I always don't even want to pop because I like stuff like this. You know what I mean? I'm not all about the high shine shimmer shimmer. If you want that, you go with past celestial shades and blitz quads and all of that. But if you're okay with like stuff like this and this is where you live, just give, you know, a little bit of satin sheen thing and then go dark <laughs> and then go bold with, you know, a different color, lower lash line or whatever, then I do think you will be... I think you will really enjoy these palettes. And so I wasn't going to get this one because this one online looked dusty. And I'm just like, it is not dusty. Everything in here works for me. And I'm just like, I'm so glad I got it. And because of seeing them in the store, that's why I purchased more. This one is Bronze Influence. This is a really pretty palette. This is like a forest green type shade and it is a wonderful addition to this palette because <laughs> it, it adds more color depth also to these other shades and i really just enjoy this any of these i can pick up to a look in 10 minutes and the look is going to be really pretty very easy not a lot of mess no fuzz just use a brush put it on and it blends out it looks nice and that, that's one of the reasons that i really love mac shadows but this, it looks basic, right? But it is just so easy and so pretty. It really is. The last one, <laughs> I almost didn't get it either because I'm like, you know, I had Sunlit Seduction. I had the Vine. I don't think I had the Vine Rose at this point. Um, but this one is Embedded in Burgundy. But look at the tones though. I'm like, I don't want them tones. But I saw it in the store. Do yourself a favor. Go into a Mac store and just look at these. They look so much better in person. It's ridiculous. And me holding it here isn't doing it justice either. Because this is a this is a rich chocolate in person. And I, I have no idea why it's showing up lighter. I don't have my track lights on. So it's not like it's blowing it out. I have my mirror with the lights around it. What well, the LED lights in the mirror. And I have a little table lamp here and a little table lamp there. And, you know, the light on in the kitchen. But this, and this is, this is rich as well. Like, it, I don't even know what to say, but it's, it is darker in person. This is a smoky palette. And if you don't want to, you know, do dark for your, um, on the lid or out of corner, you can use this or this just for your lash line. But again, this is very easy and very simple. And while I'm looking at these, I'm figuring, we're trying to figure out like which ones would I keep if I can only keep three, because we have three of these. We're not counting the limited edition. So we have encrypted, crypt, encrypted kryptonite, oof, embedded in burgundy, bronze influence, and we have three of the 12 pin. We have unfiltered nudes. I think I made up my mind just now about something. Hi-Fi and future flame. So we have three of each and we're only going to keep three. <laughs> 
Or can we just do one of each? But I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. This is going to be hard. And I, I, I seem to, to feel like some of you are saying, keep the 312 pants because you have more colors, more options. Let me know if that's what, that's what you're thinking. If any of you are thinking that, let me know. Because that's kind of what I'm thinking you might be thinking. Like, why keep six pants if you can keep the 12? So, and none of these are dupes. Like, none of them are dupes. For a moment there, I thought, you know, keep these two because you can pair them. But then they don't need to be paired. Like, the looks I've done with just this, each of these I've only used in their own so far. And then they are beautiful. So it would be like, okay, keep this one. You have your basic shades. And then, but I really don't know now. And it was like a fleeting thought. Like it ran through my mind and then it just kept running. Um, but I almost also did not get encrypted kryptonite, as I was saying, because I had unfiltered nudes. But when I looked at them in the store, unfiltered nudes and cryptic kryptonite, these are very different palettes. They do not dupe themselves. These are very different. And I, I really like this black that's in here. And it does remind me of black metal. And I forget what mothership is in. I want to say subversive and I'm probably wrong. But these online, they look like they, I'm like, they look the same. But no, this is very difficult. So I can only keep three. Let's start with, okay. This is on the fly, y'all. I did not choose this ahead of time so this this is we're going to keep hi-fi because this this is just a fucking party <laughs> and i have done looks with just this on its own and so it's not like oh i need to pull something from here or you know pull out this palette to have you know neutral shades or whatever i've only used i'm looking to see what i could pair with it though like if you wanted browns and stuff like that topes then yeah, but I want to use this by itself so far. And so I'm not that person where I won't just do like just a colorful look. But this one we're definitely keeping. I'm keeping them all. You already know that. But just if I can only keep three for whatever reason. And I'm not counting the limited edition ones because after five years, they're going to turn anyway. <laughs> so by default, we're keeping the limited edition ones. But out of the connecting color. I am definitely keeping high five. This is carbon. This is a matte black. And I think I have this in one of my BYOPs from MAC. This this palette is fun. Like this will take you out of your comfort zone. And I'm looking at it to see like what looks I can show you that you might be able to do. I do know this is Starry Night. I do have this in a MAC BY, BYOP as well. I didn't care that it was in here. It is a dual chrome. So you see how it's a burgundy and then it's a green. It's a typical flip these days. And I can always use a matte black. This is not quite a white. It looks like it is, but it, it's, it seems to have like a very light, almost like a pinky lavender tint to it. This is not like just a bone white. Um, and I have used it for inner corner and it looked okay. But this palette is fun. And for me, a lot of times shades like this, this or this don't show up that well on me, but they do. This is great as a transition for me. And it surprised me. Like, it, it showed up. Um, I think it was Mission Triple X. They have you know, a couple bright green, a bright green and a bright yellow. They barely show up. It makes a really nice transition shade because they're not boom pow. But this shows up. And that's what was so disappointing <laughs> to me that this one didn't show up. But we're definitely keeping this one if we can only keep three. Because this is just fun. This This is just a fun palette. And I don't even know what, what quads or rows to tell you that you can do. And I would say just this one because it's easy. Like put this on the lid, um, transition, and lash line. But for me, this didn't even show up at all. So I'm not even going to say that. If, an, an easy, funky, and a good way look would be this middle row. Because you have a pink and a purple, which go, of course. You can put this for lower lash line, like how I put a green under here, even though there's no green up top. And you can use this for your upper lash line or outer corner. We do have a black over here. This is not what we use for this look. But this could be like a nice, easy, funky look if you like color. If you wanted to do monochromatic, take this shade, take that one. Pop this on your inner corner. If you wanted to do pink, purple monochromatic, this shade, this one, and that one. You know what I mean? So you can do that. 
But I, this, we're keeping it. I'm, I'm still trying to think of more looks to show you out of here. But for me, because I do my makeup different and I do, thank you, my dryer is done. Um, it's just fun. <laughs> it's just fun. So we're definitely keeping that one. So we have left, oh man, this is hard. And I, I, I you know what? I just made another choice. I'm going to keep. And this could change tomorrow. We're going to keep Future Flame. Yeah. 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 We're going to keep Future Flame because there's a lot of diversity. Diversity? Versatility? There's a lot of different things <laughs> you can do with this palette. And I almost didn't get Embedded in Burgundy because online they look like dupes. These are completely different. These are completely different palettes. Like, there are no dupes. And I even swatched out shades I thought was going to look the same. They they did not look the same. Like, not at all. So, we're going to keep Future Flame because there's just a lot of versatility in this palette. And even if I just wanted to go neutral or, you know, they're not there. Even though these are darker in person and I do like dark. This would be like a nice, easy, smoky look. This is very dark in person. So, this would make this row... This column, excuse me, a smoky look. Um, yeah, we're going to keep Future Flame. I don't want to be like I'm keeping all the 12 pants, but I'm looking. And you know what? I'm stuck. We have unfiltered nudes, which gives me want to be... Uh, mothership vibes on a more subdued level these are not boom pal shadows but it's just like a just just a nice just put it on go out for the day or for the night and then we have encrypted kryptonite we have this one these are all just so much fun we have embedded in burgundy we're not gonna we're not gonna keep embedded in burgundy um because those are i don't want to say basic shades because we're keeping future flame so I'm trying to just give myself some diversity here. And we have left also bronze influence. You know what? We're going, oh shit. <laughs> I really don't, y'all. So these are the three that we have left to choose from. So we have, we're sorry for the glare. Apologies for that glare. So we have the hi-fi color. We have future flame. This is encrypted kryptonite, bronze influence, and unfiltered nudes. We're not going to keep unfiltered news. Because if I want this vibe, I can get this with the motherships. So let's put that down. So that leaves us with these two. Thank you for being here. If you're enjoying seeing my brain smoking, trying to think, <laughs> let me know down below. So Encrypted Kryptonite and Bronze Influence. We're going to keep Bronze and um encrypted kryptonite even though i really do like this green we're shoot but we have okay 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 so i'm getting a headache <laughs> so we're keeping hi-fi color this is just so much freaking fun i just cannot let this go and i'm looking at this thinking color story wise i do have some lethal shadows with similar colors but lethal is like boom pow in your face kick you in your face like it's a horse um but this is this is just so much fun so we're keeping hi-fi definitely and we're keeping can i do this without dropping something my clumsy ass so we're keeping hi-fi we're keeping future flame and we're going to keep encrypted kryptonite so we have three very different palettes which gives us a whole lot of not to drop something which gives us <laughs> a whole lot of different looks that we can do there are no dupes at all nothing that even looks remotely similar um i'm just loving it and looking at hi-fi if you wanted to pull in some of the encrypted kryptonite colors like those topes um that black this this looks like a very deep brown. 
So if you wanted to pull that in with Encrypted Kryptonite, you could. Or if you wanted to pull it in for down here, you could. But I've only used all of these on their own so far. Oh, I know what I was going to show you. What I was going to... I'm going to save that for a live. Um... I'm going to tell you now, because I don't know what a live will... Today is the 21st of February. The live will be in a few days from today, the 21st of February. So by the time you see this, um, you already know. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you anyway, in case you missed the live. Um, but yeah, so Hi-Fi, Future Flame, and Encrypted Kryptonite. These are what we're going to keep. And even if you want to pull in some of Future Flame shades with the reds and purples up here, you can do that too. So I, yeah, I feel good about this. Thank you for helping me figure that out. That was hard. Oh, you know what? Yeah, no, I think I took a screenshot picture already. So those are the three that we're going to keep. And what I have to tell you is Mac had, a, Mac had a sale. What is that? Oh, perfume samples for Eclectic Beauty. Mac had a sale. And so I got something. I got two palettes. I got Encrypted Kryptonite and Bronze Influence. You already know I got mine, right? So y'all know what this means. Y'all know what this means, right? So to show you again what they look like, because I was trying to think which one would people most likely wear because I was, I don't know, was Hi-Fi on sale? I don't know, but then I know some people, I feel like some people would get it because it's different and it's a gorgeous palette, the outside and the inside. But I want to give stuff that I really feel like if you win it, you will use it and not just be like, oh, wow, that's pretty. I don't know what to do with it. Put it down and pick up something else. You know what I mean? So what did I say I had got? Encrypted Kryptonite and Bronze Influence. And so again, here is Bronze Influence. This is the outside. This is the inside. And... I'm so excited for y'all. <laughs> and this is Encrypted Kryptonite. I love this shop, even if it's not for me. So these are the two palettes that I purchased on sale. And I picked it up while I was out today. Actually, I ordered it two days ago. Yesterday, in the middle of the morning, like 2 or 3 in the morning or something. And so I expected to get a notification to pick it up. And I didn't get the notice that it was ready till like 6 o'clock or something like that. And I'm like, I ain't going nowhere because then I had also started eating dinner too. So I'm like, I'm not going nowhere. So I picked it up today. So these two are mine. Um, I did check the other two in the store. That's all I'm going to open. I'm not going to open them again. So anytime I show them to you, I will be showing you mine. But Bronze Influence and Cryptic Kryptonite. This is going to be for one of you. And you will have seen these in my giveaway video and I'll give you more details in that video. Um, but I'm excited for one of you or two of you because I don't know yet the details. If it's only one, one or two, I don't know yet. And let me look at these again because with these go together, I don't know. Are these parable? They could be. I'd make it work. <laughs> I would make this work probably like a halo eye type thing. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you for indulging me. Thank you for being here, helping me figure out which three of the six connecting color palettes that I would use. Well, not use, but that I would keep. Let me know which ones you would use out of the ones I showed you. Like, would you have picked the same ones that I picked or would you have just picked all three of the 12 pans because there's more colors and more options. And with unfiltered nudes, being a lighter toned palette well it does it does go smoky it is darker in person i don't know what's going on with the lights but or would you have kept this one too because for those who do excuse me um corporate work appropriate looks or daytime looks or stuff like that i think this would really appeal to a lot of people but because i you know i like this i'm like hmm but I do really like this. And all of these perform extremely well. I'm going to end this video. But let me know. Would you have chose to keep Hi-Fi, Future Flame, and Encrypted Kryptonite? Or would you have picked different ones out of the six total that I showed you? So that is the question. That'll be it for this video. This was a lot of fun. And I really do have a headache. Um, 
yeah, so I'm gonna go get something to eat. So we'll fix something to eat and take my stuff out the dryer and then put stuff in the wash. So we're gonna go. We didn't do the intro. However, and as always, self-acceptance, self-love, that is the crazy troll nation way. Thank you, and you will see me soon. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Please leave comments. Let me know which ones you would have kept. And if you're not subscribed, I would appreciate that. And I think I did say lots of links below. Yeah, so that'll be it. So we're going to go. You will see me very soon.